Now, y'all already know what time it is. It is time for the mess. So let's get into it. Boom. Let's get into it. What's going on, y'all? This be your boy, Scott, about Nature TV, and we are here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, and we are here to talk about Ariane Curry, Martel Holt, and Melody Holt, and all of this stuff is basically allegedly, okay? It's all alleged stuff. Um, I was watching Empress Radio the other day. I think it was yesterday, and she put this tea out, and then my brother Terrence did a video about it last night, so I said, what the fuck? I might as well get my two cents and chip in, too, because I don't even know where the hell this shit even came from. I ain't seen no articles about it or nothing like that. I all I know is that Empress was the originator. She put the story out, but I don't know where Empress actually got it from, to be honest. So I did take some notes as to what she was saying and stuff, and I'm just going to put my own little edge on it. But I felt like if they, if those two are talking about it, then I'm, of course I'm going to talk about it too. But before we get into today's mess, let's get into a roast and review. Now, as you guys already know, roast review airs tonight, but here's a here's here's a um, wrench in the um in the thing. Josiah told me and Terrence maybe about two hours ago that he was going to the ER. Josiah really hasn't been feeling well over the last couple of days. Um, I know last night we filmed Who Was Wrong Together and he wasn't feeling too well then. So um, he's going to the ER. So there's a possibility that Josiah won't be hosting Roasted Review. However, if anything changes, me or T will be hosting it, but more than likely it's going to be me because T hosted last week. So nine times out of 10, it's going to be me that's hosting it again. So um, just be on the lookout and we're going to see what's going on. And um, if Josiah gives us um, the 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 green light to just be like, go ahead and host it, then I'm going to host it. But if he's okay enough to host it, then he's going to host it. So just be on the lookout. I just made a post on my community wall just a minute ago, and we're going to see what's going to happen. But just um, keep your prayers and stuff out for our good friend, Josiah. Uh, we're going to see what's happening. Um, but you guys will know before the show um, comes on or whatever. So um, that's pretty much it for Rose to Review. So anything, like I said, if anything changes, just be on the lookout. Just look at the community wall and all of that other good stuff, and then you'll know what's going on. We're going to keep you guys informed all day in regards to what's going to happen with Rose to Review today. Okay? Okay, so without any further ado, we're about to get on into today's tea. And as I said, I originally got this from Empress Radio. So shout out to my girl, Empress. She's been supporting me um, for a long time now. So shout out to Empress. But this is where I got it from. And I made some notes. And, um, you know, Terrence talked about it and this and that, you know. So let's get into it, okay? We're about to talk about it. I don't see this video being too long, child, but if it is, it would be a premiere. You know, if, if a video is 15 minutes or less, it's not a premiere. It's just a regular video. So, But if it's over 15 minutes, then it's going to be a premiere, child. So let's get into it. So apparently, there was some tea floating around about Melody Holt, okay? Now, there's been some rumors going around that Melody Holt is pretty much over and done with Love and Mayor Chansville at this point, you know, you know, as of right now, she's not filming with her ex-husband, um, Martel Holt anymore at this point. She's not dealing with him right now. She doesn't want to have any scenes with him. It's a lot going on between her and Martel. They're not in the best of places right now. And they have to, you know, split time with the kids. One person had the kid this day. The other person had the kids that day. Um, no, one person had the kids this week. The other person had the kids the next week. So that's really what's going on with that stuff right now. And as of right now, um, they were saying that she talked to the production team and that she wants to leave Love and Mary Chansville after this particular season. Um, but however, she will continue to be like a producer of some sort. So then from what they were saying, not only that, they were talking about her going to Atlanta and doing a spinoff series. And I'm guessing it would be Love and Marriage Atlanta, maybe. And she plans to move to Atlanta. But the thing about it is Melody can't move her kids out of the state of Alabama at this moment. So maybe she'll be living in Atlanta doing her weeks um, that she doesn't have the kids. And then when she's in Alabama, she'll be in Alabama with her children on the week that she got them. So that's pretty much what it is. So I'm guessing that if she does move on she's going to be like the person that's anchoring um love and marriage um hunts love and marriage atlanta if that tends to happen um but then they were saying that you know the network is looking to bring 
um Miss Aryan Curry to um Love and Marriage Transville if Melody um leaves the show. And they think that it will make for good ratings. They think that it will make for um you know, a good storyline. They think that, you know, she should be on TV to tell her story. And because they really believe that Martel and Arya, because Arya and Martel have been out in public now. They have been showing that they are together, I guess, or they're very friendly or whatever. And she says that she got them and she ain't lost them and all that other stuff. So I don't know. That's pretty much what it is. Um, they, they're, That's what they're saying. Now, we don't know how true this is. We really don't know how true this is. We don't know how true that this situation is in regards to Melody leaving the show to create her own spinoff with um, Love and Marriage Atlanta. But we have seen her hanging out with Portia Williams and Simon Gobadia. So if she did do Love and Marriage, Love and Marriage Atlanta, I'm sorry, would she bring Portia onto that show with um, her so-called fiance? You know, but that's pretty much really the tea that I got um, from Empress. That's really what I got from it, to be honest. So if you want to know what I think about it, I guess I'll come back on screen for it. You know what I mean? Let's talk about it. Let's have a conversation about it. Um, me personally, and I've always said this, I don't have a problem with Ariane coming on the show. I don't. That gives me more content. That gives me somebody else to read. I don't mind her coming on the show. If she comes on the show, that's not going to stop me from watching it. I just feel like if we could sit up here and look at Love and Hip Hop and watch Jocelyn be a home wrecker or watch Amina be a damn home wrecker and Tara wind it up being a home wrecker too. If we could sit up there and look at all that stuff and see people bring their side chicks on reality TV shows all the time, then I'm pretty sure that we can sit up here and we can watch this show. That's how I feel. So I personally don't have an issue with Ariane being on Love and Marriage Huntsville. Honestly, more drama, more shit for us to talk about. And for those of, for main for the main people that are saying that they ain't gonna watch it if she's on the show, y'all lying. Y'all know y'all gonna watch it because y'all are gonna be curious to know what she's here for, what's her purpose, what she's here to talk about. You know what I mean? But what would be the purpose of Ariane being on the show if Melody's not there? You get what I'm saying? Because the whole purpose of her being on the show is to bring a certain a specific side to Mel and Martel's story that we've only seen in the blogs, but we really haven't seen it play out on camera. So what sense would that make to finally bring Aryan on the show because Mel is no longer there? That wouldn't make any sense to me. That wouldn't make any sense to me. Um, do I think that Melody could carry a show by herself? No. I don't think that her personality is that big to carry a show by herself. Like, I don't see her being like a Nini or I don't see her being like a Porsche or something like that. Not even a Candy, to be honest. I don't see her carrying her own show like that. Um, she's only good with an ensemble cast. So if she was to leave and go and do a Love and, Ma Love and Marriage Atlanta, then I could understand that because she would be surrounded by an ensemble cast. But does she even know many people in Atlanta to even do that? I know she cool with Portia, but, and, and that's very ironic being that Portia is a home wrecker herself. So how the hell is she friends with one home wrecker? But mm, that's another story. But, you know, I don't know. I don't know. And what would be the purpose of Arya coming on Love in Mary Chansville, even with Melody gone? Because who going to film with her? She's caused issues for Kimmy and Marie, so I don't see neither one of them filming with her. I definitely don't see Letitia or Marceau filming with her. And I really don't see Destiny filming with her. So who's going to film with her? Tiffany and Lewis? The two people that need a storyline, the two people that are really going to do whatever they possibly can to get a storyline to two people that's going to do whatever they can to get camera time. Because those are the only two people that I could definitely see filming with some damn Aryan. Like, what they going to do? Like, who's she going to film with? She only going to film with Martel? Like, it's not going to be. I don't know what it's going to turn into. What they going to do, make Martel and Aryan the, the anchor couple of the show? Because, you know, it used to be Melody and Martel. But now, it's, is it going to be Martel and Aryan? Like, I'm just trying to figure that part out. I'm trying to see what's really going on with that. I don't know. And why now do you feel like Ariane deserves to be on own? And why now do you feel like Ariane needs to tell her story? And why now do you feel like her story is um, essential to the show? Like I said, a lot of, I think that 
I know in my own mind, I feel like people are not going to stop watching the show because Ariane is there and Mill is gone. I personally don't think that. But there are some women that I think that that this demographic for Love and Marriage Huntsville, in so many words, may not be the same demographic as a Love and, love and Hip Hop. It may be the same demographic as Real Housewives of Atlanta, but not necessarily the same you know, demographic as a Love and Hip Hop. So those women that are saying, well, I'm not watching it if Arian comes on, they may be some Real Housewives type of watchers because I don't think Real Housewives has even brought a side chick on their show. I don't think so. So I don't know. You know, it's 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 like it's like a another case. Now I'm open to love and marriage. You know, branching out. You know, bringing in all these different spinoffs. You know, we already got DC with Monique being a person to um, you know, anchor it and carry it on. We already got that going on, and so you know, and I'm very excited about that. You know, Monique did what she did on Potomac and she made a big mistake on Potomac and that's fine. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. That's fine. Because I'm not saying that what she did was right either. I never said she was right for what she did, but, um, you know, Candace has moved on with her life and so has Monique and I'm ready to see Love and Marriage DC and see what she brings to the table on Love and Marriage DC. I'm sorry, but I am. And if we want to be upset about that, then we can, but I'm ready to see what she brings. Um, and all of that good stuff. I'm ready to see it. Like, I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out what, but I'm just trying to see, but see, my thing about it is, it's on saying that. And if this is really true, if it's on really saying that Ariane deserves to be on TV because she tried to say that she was about to commit the bit, the big S because of the show. Like, did she get some sympathy and pay all up for on to finally be like, okay, girl, we're going to, we're going to, gonna give you a bone and we're gonna put you on show like we you know the words and any come get on a show come get on a show come get on a show like is that like is that is that what it is come get on a show come get on a show come get on a show come get like that's what i think it is like you want to be on the show and that was this whole thing of I, i'm done i'm tired of them using my likeness i'm tired of them doing this i'm tired of them doing that but you ain't tired you like the attention girl you really do you love the attention and you're trying to make it seem like you don't like the attention but you like it you want to make it seem like you don't want the attention but you want it you want to make it seem like you don't care for the attention but you do like stop playing with us stop playing with with the intelligence of everybody else and let me just get on martel real quick because you're willing to do anything on earth to keep yourself relevant and i just feel like you are are a complete idiot and a dummy that's what you are because you're gonna sit up here like you fumbled the bag and then you're trying to sit up here and make this play school ass coloring book and all this other shit and try to sell it as, as something else for you and your kids or whatever now i did feel bad for you last episode don't get me wrong and i still feel bad for you my feelings about that ain't never changed at all. I still feel bad for you. But at the same point in time, though, bruh, you need to find something else to do. Get your, get your builder's license so you can continue to build your homes. Do that. Like, what are you doing? You're not taking this platform and doing anything with it besides being the representative for the fuckboys of 2022. That's what you're doing. You're not doing anything significant with this platform. If you got a platform, you need to do other things with this platform. You need to get into your builder buildings, builder's license and keep building your homes. You know, you sitting up here trying to sell a candle to sell you know do that sell the calendar do this do that you know what i'm saying so it's 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 crazy to me that you know it is what it is it's crazy to me that it's just that right there so at the end of the day i'm just i'm just saying it like just just do do your due di diligence and just do something else with the platform and just um move on because i don't know what's really going on right now like i don't know what's going on and it is what it is so please move the hell on please be quiet and, and whatever an Ariane girl you just need to just shut the fuck up because if you was really smart you would go out and get your make your youtube channel be something else like you want your story to be told so bad but you won't make your own bag on youtube and tell your story as many people say they won't subscribe they don't have to subscribe to your channel to watch your channel let let the true feeling be said there are i've seen people say i like scotty but not enough to subscribe or i i checked scotty by nature out but i haven't subscribed trust and believe me there are people watching you that are not yet subscribed to your channel yet and there are some people that probably would never subscribe to your channel but they still gonna watch what you say 
and bloggers like myself or commentators like myself are going to watch so we can have something to talk about. So if you really want your stories to be told and if you really want to talk about it, why don't you get on your YouTube channel and make your money that way? Because these girls ain't feeling with you on Love and Mary Chunsville. They're not. Kimmy not going to film with you. Tisha not going to film with you. Destiny not going to film with you. Stormy probably ain't going to film with you. So who going to film with your ass, girl? Like, why do you want to be on this show so bad? The same show that's causing you so much pain and grief. The same show that's making you feel like shit. The same show that's making you want to throw up. The same show that's causing you so much drama and so much pain. The same show that's doing so much shit to you. Like, that's all I'm saying. So my thing about this is you need to you need to do something with yourself. Move the fuck on and just keep it keep it pushing. So just 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 stop it just 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 keep it pushing like i just feel like it is what it is like you 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 say one thing and then you do another but you do it all for sympathy that's the only reason why you be doing it you do it all for sympathy because you want somebody to feel sorry for your for your um pork chop neck ass that's all you want somebody to do you want somebody to feel sorry for you but it just ain't working you got to understand these women that's watching the show they're not seeing it for you they don't care about your story they don't care about you talking about um kicking a the bucket they don't care about none of that because of the way you came along and you decided that you're going to ruin somebody else's family and then gloat about it on social media and then get mad when it's talked about on the show. But if you didn't get up, get your ass on social media and gloat about it and make it a big deal and make it a subject and topic of discussion, then nobody would have nothing to say about it. But you don't see the error of your ways. You want to blame everything else on this show and then you want to blame everything else on the blogs. But then it's these same blogs that you get mad at that you want to do interviews with. Let's not forget, we just got done talking about the fact that you was talking about Funky Down Evil like a dog, but yet you was in his DMs and Asking him for an interview when somebody asked you, would you do an interview with Funky Don Even? You said, I'm not gonna give in. I'm not gonna make nobody else relevant. I'm not gonna put nobody else on. Bitch, they putting you on. What are you talking about? Get real, they putting you on. What are you saying? You're not putting us on. You're putting, they're putting you on. If it wasn't for us bloggers talking about you, you wouldn't be relevant at all. But you think you making anybody relevant, though. You ain't making nobody relevant from sitting up in an empty ass house going live every day. You not making nobody relevant. You making we you making us like, girl, please. We making you relevant by even having your name in our damn titles. But you want to get mad when your name is in our titles and shit like that. And then you got the president. You know, you already the president of Side Chick Awards, so you got your fans, whoever they are, they get mad with us because we be talking about you. But the more you get on here and show the fuck out, the more I'm going to get a coin and talk about your ass. That's just what it is. So you can't get mad when we talk about you. We talk about what you put out there and you keep putting yourself out there like a slab of meat the same way you put yourself out there like a slab of meat when it was you and Martel. So you can stop all this fucking crying and you can stop trying to play the victim all the time because you're not no damn victim. So stop trying to be one. You're not no victim. You're doing a bad job at playing it. Trust and believe me, you are. And ain't nobody trying to play with you at all. Ain't nobody playing these games with you, girl. Ain't nobody got time to be playing with you. Are you serious? Are you stupid or are you dumb? But I think you are stupid and you're dumb. That's what I think. Because it's just like, girl, are you are you serious? You really want to... Like, one minute you say that you want them to stop talking about you you want them to stop using your likeness they ain't never said your name never used a picture you never did nothing so how the hell are they using your likeness do you know what the definition of likeness means bitch do you know i don't think you do then you turn around and say this show is causing you so much pain you can't live your life the way you want to because of this show but yet you sit there and you watch this show and you give this show all these ratings and then you get on live after every episode and say shit but you act like you don't want the attention. You love the fact that we're talking about you. You love the fact that you got posted on the neighborhood talk. That that made your pussy wet when you got posted on the neighborhood talk, didn't it? It made you wet when you got on neighborhood talk. Let's stop it. Let's stop it because you love the attention. You love it. You can wait to get on live and put Martel on there. You cannot wait to let everybody know that he finally claiming you in public. But then again, he ain't posting nothing about you on his page. It's on your page. He knew not to put none of you on, on his page, though. He knew not to do that. So you really need to stop and stop playing with me. All this stuff that's going on with Martel and Ariane is a mess. But when it comes down to Melody, though, 
I don't know how I feel about um people thinking that she can carry a show on her own because I don't personally feel like she can. I don't think she got the personality to do that. Like she's only good with the um with the ensemble. So if she does love and marriage Atlanta, then it's not gonna be as organic because she don't really got no all her friends is in Alabama. So what friends do she have that's in Atlanta? That's I mean, she got Dr. Heavenly, but Dr. Heavenly already on the show. And now she's sitting up here um, scrunched up and, and hugged up and happily friendly with Portia. And Portia is a home wrecker and a side chick herself, but she's friends with And she got a whole song called the Side Chick Award. That song could go for your good friend Portia, but you're out here hanging with her. I don't get it, though. I don't get it. I don't understand. It is what it is. I don't know. I don't know what it is, child, but it is what it is. So we gon' we gonna keep what I'm what I'm gonna say is we gonna keep Arian in our prayers. That's what we go do. We gonna keep Arian. And we're going to keep Ariane in, in, in our prayers because I'm going to pray for her. The same way I got to pray for Vera, I'm going to pray for uh, Ariane because she needs it. Because that girl is confused. She don't know what she want. And Martel is just playing Geppetto and just just pulling her by her puppy dog tail, pretty much. That's, that's really how this going on. So before we get up out of here, let's get into all the things that I got coming up on Scotty by Nature TV. So let's get into it. The Whether You Like It or Not panel will be airing on May the 2nd, and it will be starring Scotty by Nature TV, giving you the real tea, Josiah's World TV, Yocrates, Really Be TV, and Simply Sakina. We will be covering the Real Housewives of Atlanta and Basketball Wives all spring, all summer. So be on the lookout for that. Who Was Wrong is coming out on April the 17th, and it will be involving myself, Erica De Niro, Melanated Crowns, um, House of Aaron, Josiah's World TV, giving you the real tea, um, Bundy Blue, Jamie That's Me, Make It Make Sense, um, Alex Salter and a host of many others. It will be airing on April the 17th at 10 30, 30 a.m. Central Time. Okay, it would be a Sunday morning show. So be on the lookout for that. Okay, and also Boys Night Out will be back this, this Saturday night at 9 8 Central Time, right after Love and Mary Chansville. And then soon after the Boys Night Out panel is over with, we will be going over to Terrence's live so he can live. Uh, chat about love and marriage Huntsville, okay so with that being said you guys um this is my yes for the mess be sure to like rate comment subscribe share this video also please click notification bell so you can be notified when um there's a video to drop if you want to follow me on any form of social media my twitter and my ig will be down below but if you want me to follow you back on ig all you gotta do is hit me up in the dms with the hashtag message hashtag team scotty and i would definitely follow you back but that being said you guys your boys out of here until my next video i will talk to you guys later peace out